too. We're here in the drummer's paradise at Drumio with Jared Folk. It's almost gonna be embarrassing how little I know about the drums for how long I've been playing them. We have a new kit that we're taking out yeah, of the yeah. boxes and we'll build it. Perfect. Nice. And then we might as well continue building. It'll be, it'll be a big one. <laughs> and so like once we've got made it big enough to where like my guitar is part of the kit, then we know we probably we've probably gone too far. Okay, let's do it. Yep. Step one, nothing. Carpet. Need a carpet. Well, like musically. Well, musically, but also so it doesn't slide around. Yeah, yeah, okay. So obviously yeah. you need carpet. It doesn't sound like anything, but. Though. All right, there, go. <laughs> step, step one, we got it. Let's start with the snare. Okay, I'll yeah. uh, try and find it. This is just one kit. This is one kit. This is one gigantic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want some help? No, I got it. All right, I'll just let you do all the work. Yeah. So this one kit has three snares on it? Yeah. Uh, you probably want like a 14 inch snare. Oh, yeah? That's a 13 inch. What is more standard? 14. 14. The first thing I would do is to tune them up. Everyone always asks and like, okay, what's the one way to tune a drum? This is the bottom head. So generally I'll just crank this one up really tight. We, yeah. always, we always say like tabletop tight. Do you ever crank it too much and then it breaks? New drums are so well built. Yeah. And like they're so well oiled here. A lot of times this lug insert, uh -huh. that's what will break before this or the head. It's kind of like oh, really? it's kind yeah, of like the washer will break inside of okay, there. Okay, so you can really up. crank those things. You, and you don't need to worry about it. So this one, you see where the the snare bed is? Most cases, I tune up a little bit more on each end of the snare bed. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's get some different brushes. Choose your weapon, Seth. Wow. I mean, we could do a whole video on what? Yeah. This is like a rake. There's tons of different types of sticks. Wow, this is weird. This feels like I'm like about to have a salad or something. <laughs> Okay. Break. Oh, that's huge difference. I see a ton of use in those, of course. A little bit of marching band stuff. Yeah. Next hi -hat? piece? Yeah, hi-hat. Hi -hat. Okay. What are the sizes usually on hi-hats? For, generally 14, and yeah. then bigger hi-hats have been getting more popular. So here, check these out, 17 inch. That's a crash symbol. It's not, it's hi-hat. This is just a misprint. This is clearly a crash symbol. <laughs> no, it's not. These are 15s, but they're, if you feel it, they're like th thinner, and yeah. so you'll, they'll be much easier to play. Uh -huh. Is there a difference to the material as well between like a hi-hat, there must be, between a hi-hat and a crash symbol, or is it just that these are thicker? It's the weight and how much they're lathed, and okay. then the size of the bell, if you look at this compared to other symbols. So it's, they're just made slightly differently. That really high action, really high space between the hi-hats. You don't like that? I would usually have it thinner. I like the sizzle. Right. So you can do it though. Yeah, this is what, yeah, this is what I would do. With the hi-hat, to me, where's the intensity level? Right. Low intensity level. High intensity, higher. 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 Yeah. And you, oftentimes I'd be playing the same beat, but just depending on, you know, whether I'm doing this, 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 yeah. or this, it, I can bring the dynamic of the song. Yeah, and it guides the band, too. That's yep. a lot of times what they listen for. I never got into the habit of like using my left foot to keep the beat. Right, I always do that. Yeah. Like, but but only like ten years after I started playing. It's weird like, not having a kick drum with this, isn't it? When you have less pieces, you have to just use more like you, yeah different sound. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, you just that right there shows there's so many sounds you can get. Talented drummer, sir. Oh, come on. <laughs> you hit the snare like this. Yeah. I saw someone do this um, when I was a little kid, and when I would do fills, I would try to do. Yeah. Oh, that. Whoa. That is so cool. Yeah. One. Whoa. Yeah. There's a musician I really love called Draffage, and he does this a lot in his songs. That's. Wow. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I'm like full on, full leg. Yeah. You were a bit more, a lot more control. If you start here, 
and you just drop your foot and roll it back to this position, you get two hits. Yeah. You have mallets too. All right, here we go. Three. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, so we bass got the hi-hat now. Yeah, bass drum. Okay. Okay, let's get a pedal. There's so many different type of just kick pedals. We gotta go double. This really takes me back. I haven't put on a drum pedal in go. years. You want them kind of to both hit in the middle? Okay. Sounds good. Awesome. This is like 90% yeah. of what I no <laughs> normally use anyway. <laughs> I could play a show like this and feel comfortable. Yeah, this is what it's becoming popular, especially for like street beat stuff. Like, because uh -huh. you can just take this anywhere. It's super yeah, portable. Yeah, yeah, This is like the steering wheel, the gas, and the brakes. Right? Yeah, that's a good so way to put it. That's the steering wheel, this is the, the gas. And this is me in traffic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Lead footed Rob. So I yeah. think the next thing that I would, I would put is a cymbal. I was thinking crash cymbal, okay. but if I were to build out this kit, the ride would definitely be the next, because you can use that in a similar way, but you can also use it as a ride. We have a 22-inch crash, uh -huh. which you could use as ride and crash. Yeah. Now I'm even more comfortable. That, that really works as a, as a crash. Yeah. Sounds good. You got your ting, you got your bong, and you got your Yeah. I guess we go floor tom with what I would want okay. next. Where did Jared go? Over here. Okay. <laughs> so many companies, they make their drums like to resonate as long as possible. Uh -huh. As little things touching the shell, so of you get course. the full resonance. Of course. But then drummers just like get them and just tape them up. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like, what was the point in all this like technology? I would always put those, uh, the gels on mine. Yeah, we have those. Drum tacks. And they have Drumio on it. You know you've made it when you have yeah. your brand on a drum tack. Yeah. Try that. Yeah. That's good. That's what I want in the floor tom. There you go. Leading yeah. with the toms lets people know there's there's something something big coming. Usually though when I'm playing, I'm I, I use the toms so rarely. Really? Yeah, I use it like really just for fills and I don't do fills that much. Right. Kind of like bass players, like yeah, they have the A and D and G uh -huh. strings, but they only use the top one. <laughs> <laughs> now we're making even more enemies. Here we go now. <laughs> Sounds awesome, great, right out of the box. Yeah. I guess now we can start like really speeding up the process. I'll get a few cymbal stands. Cool. Do you have a preference on the size of the crash cymbal you want? This one seems pretty big, is that? Yeah, it's 20 inch crash. Yeah, I usually do 17 or 18 Yeah. here as my main one. If you're right handed, you're naturally gonna hit this area mm -hmm. way more. I put my splash over here because I don't want to hit it too much. <laughs> if it's there, I, yeah, I, yeah. I way overuse it. Uh -huh. So I put it here so I have to hit it with my left That's hand. That's funny, That's yeah. funny. Fun. Yeah. One hand. That. <laughs> yeah, now let's put on another tom. This is a double tom holder. That is so much more advanced than the one I was used to. I like mounting them off the bass drum personally because it's just right there. And the yeah. placement is always easier. Uh -huh. This thing has something awesome. where, where let's say you get it like in a specific spot and now you want to take your kit down and just flip that. What? This oh. is all new. That tom arm is, yeah. is magical. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh, should we start miking it now? Okay. Whoa! Yeah. You nailed that. Yeah. We got a drum kit now. Yeah. This is a full on drum kit. Do you have a gong? Oh, that's one thing I don't have. Well, be epic. 
I thought this video was gonna be cool. Oh, but... come on. <laughs> so I guess now we just start, we just start building. Are you supposed to use it? Yeah, yeah. So now with all the, hey, whoa, hey. you know, it's really coming together. You want to oh, like this? Is there a <laughs> good? <laughs> you in okay. Any direction I go, I'm gonna get something. <laughs> I think that would look cool. It doesn't sound great, but it's gonna look cool. Yeah, it could be a, a human capo over here. I just want the seventh. I'm, that actually sounds pretty good. Yeah. Is this symbol all right so close to your head? Oh, that's fine. I'm yeah. used to it. I need a bit more, but my my uh, all my limbs are tied except for my head. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you.
Cool. All right, your turn, man. How long have I, how long have I been on here? <laughs> I'm like, sweating, man. Yeah, I don't know. Is it fun? Oh, it's so much fun. It's so, I mean, there's just so many options. right now is that like we clearly have the option for like one of us to just play one or the other <laughs> <laughs> it's fun though we're getting a lot more use out of that setup than i thought we yeah. would yeah That. <laughs> so you're using like everything on the kit. I was trying good. to. Except for the toms that are underneath the guitar, which I appreciate that yeah. you weren't trying to hit. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah thank you for thank, coming. Yeah. Oh, subscribe to Drumio too. Yeah, if you, thanks, if you're man. into drums at all. Oh, we only had one bass drum. Exactly. There's like four more up there. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's that oh, we, could we do. just ran out of time. Yeah. yeah, we don't have we could have way more bass drums. Well, that's next time. You I come think this back. one we